Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So guys, we have done with the create, read and update operation. Now we have only one operation remaining which is the delete operation. So when the user wants to delete his or her profile, then the user will delete the profile. And when the user will delete the profile, we will delete the record from the database. So let's create the delete function. And again, we will do this inside our DB operations class. So here let's create a new function, public function, delete user. And this function will take only a single parameter, which is ID of the user. Then here we will create stmt equals to this con prepare. And this time we will write the delete query. So we will delete from users where id equals to question mark. And then we will bind the parameters. This time we have only a single parameter which is number. So we will write i and then the id. Then we will write if stmt execute we will return true else we will return false. So we have the delete user function. Now come back to index.php and here we will create one more call and this time we will create a HTTP delete request. And we will create delete user and the ID. And the next parameter is a function which takes request response and array. From the array we will get the arguments. So we need to get the id. So we have the id. Now we will create a new db operations object and we will call db delete user and we will pass the id. So if it returns true that means the user is deleted else the user is not deleted. So again we will return ok. So make it 200. As we are doing the same thing inside if and else so we do not need to write it inside if or else we can write it outside the conditional statement. That's it and inside if we will create a response data or we can create it outside then we will write response data error equals to false we don't have any error message user has been deleted then we have response data error equals to true please try again later and finally we can write it in the response fine so our delete operation is also completed now let's test it so we will write this time delete user and the id is 1 and we will send a delete request. So let's send it and you can see the user has been deleted and if we will check the database now. You can see we have our table empty that means the user is deleted from the database. So that's all for this video friends we have done with all the operations create read update and delete and from the next video we will start our actual thing which is implementing retrofit in our android project. So that's it for this video friends if you are having any question leave that in the comment section below and if you found this video helpful please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys this is Bilal Khan signing off.